Alright, how's it going everybody and welcome to Super AMV Tutorials. Today I'll be showing the complete basics of how to edit and I'll be showing this by going totally over whatever features you may need to know uh, to use in Sony Vegas. So uh, as you may notice, um, we got this whole screen set up and what we want to do in order to get some sort of uh, music or whatever footage into Sony Vegas, you just have to go up and press import media up here or you could go into file media, uh, oh no sorry, file and go into import and press media. And it'll give you into uh, the uh, my computer, windows, whatever thingy and you can add in whatever you want. So I'll pick tears don't fall because it's a, it's a basic song and it's good to start out with. So yeah, uh, we got a, uh, hold on, I'm going too fast here. We got uh, the song in our project media now, which is uh, available down here. You can also go into transitions, video effects, and media generators, which is all I use. If you have the others, you can go up into, um, what is it, view, and add whatever you want, and remove whatever you want. I normally just use these settings, because they're what fits me the best, so yeah. But anyway, uh, in order to uh, get the audio into the track down here, which is where we are going to do all the fun editing time. Oh, and I should notice that um, I've made a tutorial previously on how to render. And uh, if you haven't seen that, uh, be sure to go check it out because that's, uh, that's going to be the way we're going to to render and uh, do our projects for leap but either way if you can see my uh, pro project properties here you just press the little marker up here and it pops up this window and what you want to do uh, with the you know basic kind of AMV if you use Dragon Ball Z or the old Naruto or whatever you get this footage that is um, kind of more uh, squared rather than widescreen and what you want to do is use the width uh, which is the same as the anime in this case uh, which is 640 by 480 and the frame rate is what you want to use um, in order to see whatever how many pictures there is per second and the normal one would be 23.976 in this case so these are the normal settings I use you can mess around with audio, the ruler, the summary, and whatever, it doesn't matter. The all important thing is the video. And keep in mind, field order is non-progressive scan, and the aspect ratio is one squared. Okay, with that done, you can also uh, check out the tutorial I mentioned just a second ago. I'll link it in the description so you can see it for yourself. But yeah, now that we got our project set up, we can add in the song, and the way we do this is just drag it in, hold down our mouse button and it'll drop in here. You can double click and it'll select it all and you can press space and it'll start playing the song or whatever you have a footage in here. All right, press space again to stop it. So yeah, got some cool features over here. I'll go over them later. Um, but the next thing you probably want is to import some sort of video footage. So if you go into import once again and find wherever you may have some footage, I've got some clips here on my desktop. I'll just add something random. Let's see here, Cell Saga. That's a good saga. And if I could get some pictures up in here, that would be awesome. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Probably want to go with episode 171, I think. Hold on. No, that's not it. As you can see, it uh, lists all the clips here that I've cut out myself. And uh, yeah, yeah, you can just press it and press open and it'll drop it into the uh, into the Vegas. Or you could just double click and it'll automatically add it into the Vegas as well. But the other thing that you just saw me do is I right click and just say play with my media player. That's something you could do as well. You can just say play with Windows media player and it'll pop up here. So yeah, that's a cool feature. If you don't want to to click and get the video material into Vegas, then watch it to remove it again. You can just play it from the Explorer. Either way, let's go into... Let's see here. What's a good thing to go for? I should probably go for some Gohan action here. Hmm. Let's see. Let's just use... This should be good. 
Okay, so we've got a couple of clips here. You'll notice that I marked more than one, and the way you do this is hold down shift and mark whatever episodes you want to use. And you can just get them into here, into Vegas. And if you want these uh, into Sony Vegas, you can just do like with the audio, just drag them in and it'll pop up with a new track. Also, if you want another track, a video track is what this lane is called, because the video material is on this, you can't have audio on it, and vice versa with the audio track. Uh, you can just hold down Control, Shift, and Q for video, and Control, Q for the audio. But we don't need more than one audio lane, so here we are. Got some some clips going on, and what we want to do is uh, cut them because we want to sync, and sync is probably one of the most important things of editing. Because uh, you may notice that a lot of editors uh, hit the beats of the song when they, they edit, and the way you do this, or that many uh, editors do, is uh, listen through the song and kind of spot where are the beats. You can see there's these little pulses, and that's where the beats mostly are. and just not to uh, to to avoid getting completely confused by watching all of this and the way by the way uh, the way I zoom in and out is with my scroll button if you don't want to get all confused by this uh, go into uh, wherever the spot may be you got a heavy beat here and you can just press M you get this little uh, capture thingy whatever and it'll stay there unless you move it so now you know there's a beat there and you can do that through the whole song so that's kind of nifty see there's a heavy beat right here so I'm just just gonna mark out real quick here where the heavy beat are. there we go you can sort of hear the song change in here between these tracks. the beat kind of changes here so you probably want to put a marker in there now don't get all confused by this I know there's a lot of beat in this song a lot of beats sorry in the song but you don't want to hit every one of them cuz It'll be horrible to watch because you'll be almost completely impossible to see whatever you put in of clips because you oversync too much. If you change a scene every second, that'll be horribly to look at. So, yeah. And we got another beat here. And a beat here. And a beat here. Okay, so we got a lot of beats in here that we want to try to see. And you can kind of see them in here. Just want to mark them out as quick as possible. And they're kind of close to each other, so... There we go. That should be fine. Should probably remove this. And if you if you didn't see ca quite catch what I just did there, if you want to delete these, uh, you just right-click them and press delete or rename. And, uh, yeah... You can rename him to whatever you want. So let's say over here is where the action part starts. So let's say rename and we can give it a name. Let's just call it ac action part. Press enter and there you go. Now you got a marker called action part. So what we want to do now is add our video clips into this because we don't just want kind of boring, controversial, nothing, just audio. We want some video action. So what you can do is put in your clips. Let's just see here. We can use this, and I want to use this scene of Vegeta turning around and screaming. Oh, and you may have noticed that something just disappeared, and the way I did this um, is I pressed on the clip. Oh, hold on, let me just try it with a new clip. Got another clip here. Uh, if you double click it, it'll mark it, and you can go into here. Right click on the track and say zoom selection, and it'll, it'll stretch out. Uh, the view to only the clip that you selected but what I did before was I uh, clipped uh, no not clicked sorry to wherever I wanted to cut the um, the video uh, I zoomed in to see every each frame there is and you can see it changes here so I want to cut it here and I just press S this will cut the track and you can move them apart without any problems whatsoever but let's say you don't want the first part, you can just click on it and press delete, and it's gone. Don't need to worry about it, and since I don't really need this either, we can just press delete on that as well. So yeah, that's how you cut clips. So if we drag this clip over here, we can sort of hear the... Let's go! 
Let's go. The go starts here. So we want probably Vegeta to open his mouth, which I know he does in a second. There we go. Right there. And now we got this start of a clip. And what I'm doing here is I place my mouse cursor on the upper left corner. And you can say it says uh, fade offset. And what it measures in is frames. And there is, as we put in our project properties, there is 23.976 frames per second. So if you just drag it up to 23, you'll see it pop up to one second. So that's a one second fade. And a fade looks like this. <laughs> And uh, if you want to preview your video without uh, having to render it yet, you can just mark whatever you want to watch, press Shift and B, and it'll render out real quick, and you can just play, press play, sorry. Let's go! And you got the clip going without any lag Let's whatsoever. If you go to another place without having it rendered, it'll look kind of laggy. Although my PC is kind of overpowered, so it doesn't really matter. I just do it for good measure. Either way, we got a new clip going on here. Let's just clip it over and say S here. So we got Vegeta screaming, so we probably want him screaming some more because we love Screamo. Woo. And what I'm doing here is, uh, hold on, let's just go back here. You can see I've got two clips over each other and I don't really want it to just do like this and just pop over. That looks stupid. I want to crossfade. And what that means is get the clips to kind of fade into each other so you see it'll do like this and the way you do this is just have the clips over each other put it over and you got a crop yeah. you can also customize these by right clicking on the top uh, part of the track here and you get all these different options of how the fate are supposed to go and I just keep with stock because that's the pretty yeah. Yeah. You get this cool uh, fate looking thing so yeah Got a new beat coming out here. Want to use another scene. And some of you may notice this. I don't know if you've seen my basic MV tutorials I had long, long ago on my main account, uh, which uh, is suspended, however. Uh, I did the complete same thing with the song, and whatever. But we got another clip here, and uh, I just adjusted the scene because I was not sure if uh, I was at the right frame. You can do that by just uh, go into the edge of the uh, video and drag it however you want and go frame by frame. But we want the ground here to blow up as the beat comes, so that's perfectly hidden. And you get a fine looking kind of hot You have to notice it's a fade. We want Vegeta here uh, in the next scene to fade in over. Let's just give it 10 frames for good measure. It's, kinda, it's, a, it's a clean number. So there we go we probably want to keep uh, hitting every beat there is and now as you can see the scene doesn't really change but Vegeta goes Super Saiyan however and we want to use that to sync to a beat with so we do like this and we drag it until we'll get this flash going as you can see there's four uh, frames of him going Super Saiyan or flashing whatever so we probably I'm mumbling. We probably want to keep the middle where the beat is so it'll look more synced. And we can just adjust it to this. And we got Vegeta going Super Saiyan over a soft beat. Kind of fits. We can also, if we want to, uh, hold on. That's not what I wanted. Do like this. And get the Super Saiyan to go over here we go and we got all, already a freaking decent beta going on here want to use the next scene don't really care what it is it's just sell screw it it's a cool scene. let's just get it too close to him there we go as close as possible let's drag this back because we don't want to get multiple lanes over each other and look all kind of dumb. We and we want Vegeta zooming in on the camera. Okay, and let's... Here's here's a little trick that I normally do when I edit. Um, you may notice that uh, the, the actual scene here, hold on. You notice how 
on this very frame, his face is right here, and you get these continuous frames going back and forth, and it kind of looks retarded until after like a second or something like that, it'll, it'll actually continue. It kind of looks stupid. So what we can do is we can cut it away here and go to the very last frame, uh, which is when it zooms into his mouth here, and do like this. And cut it right there, because that's where our song editing is. And it's not as boring and dull to look at, because the scene just copies itself. So now we actually got a, a flowy thing going on. Actually, Let's go! Oh, hold on. I need to render it out. Hold on a second. And you'll see we actually got our basic raw beta going on here, and I can't render it at all. Perfect. Let's go! It is kind of laggy, but either way, I am going to uh, I'm going to end here, and next time we'll go over how to to make the the synchronization on these beats and how to make it a little prettier and better looking. So yeah, if you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, uh, be sure to uh, leave a like and a comment. And uh, yeah, I'll be going over this for the next course of the, a couple of weeks. I think I've got vacation now, so I. Figured I would use my spare time to, to show the very basics of Sony Vegas. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys around uh, whenever I ne make the next part. So yeah, keep it, keep it, keep it going, keep it cool.